Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're working on that Equinox and again, you buy a vehicle, you always need to check for, you know, one of those keys for the secret uh, lug nuts for the wheels. If you don't have one, you're in big trouble if you're on the road guys. Or if they don't provide one, we'll show you guys how to take your tire off, how to remove that lock key, okay? Lock nut without a key. So stay with us guys, we'll show you that's the Equinox I'm talking about. We need to do some, some work on it, paint two doors, put new fender, and we need to remove the tire. And we're like, oh my goodness, where the, where the tool is now? We don't have the tool for the, for the locks. So we're going to demonstrate guys, if you're in a situation like that, don't use it to steal any, any, any wheels, okay? Don't use it to steal wheels just for your own thing. You probably don't want your wheels stolen too. Okay, in our case, let me show you what we're going to need now. We need a socket, it's called a 12 point socket. You can see the one that has 12 points, that's why it's called 12 point, I guess, pretty simple. Huh? And it needs to be smaller than the outside of the of the lock key, okay, or, or lock nut, right here. Okay, you can see this one doesn't fit, almost fits, but doesn't fit. You can get one from the from the parts store with, with lifetime warranty. If it breaks while you're doing that, you can always replace it, but don't tell them what you did with it, okay? Otherwise, they might not replace it. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to hold it, guys, and you need to hammer it in. Okay, that's why it needs to be smaller so it fits really, really tight on the nut. This one particularly is a 19 millimeter. Some we've done in the past use 22. Okay, so it's in now and let's see if it's going to come loose. Super tight. Okay, and I think it started going. Yep, right there. So we're going to take it off now and I'm gonna show you how to release the, the lock nut okay from the from the socket now what you need to do guys uh, you need to get a bigger socket or a vise okay and the lock nut needs to go in now you need to get a bolt that fits inside and you need to hammer it in until it uh, falls off the socket okay right there you can see came out okay let's go try one more on the back and see how that's going to work now if it's going to do the same, the same procedure, sometimes some, some are tighter than others. Okay, let's give it one more try and see how it's going to turn out now. Okay, the same thing, same socket, we're going to hammer it in. Okay, perfect, let's see now if it's going to work now. Hopefully it does guys, because that saves you quite a bit of trouble. Okay, and this one came off as well. You can see. So let's hammer this one in. Uh, 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 I mean, out the lock nut out of the socket quick. Okay, we have the two sockets ready. Okay, didn't come out this time. So let's try one more time. <laughs> Both flying everywhere. This one got tighter than the other one for some reason. I think we hammered it in a little bit more. Yeah, still giving us hard time. Wow, it is tight now. But it should come off. Let's see how much we're gonna spend hitting that thing. Probably quite a bit. Okay. <laughs> thing is flying everywhere. It Probably didn't expect such a long end of the video, I know. Sometimes things are unpredictable. And it's almost out, but the boat is not long enough for this one to reach for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna get a, a screwdriver and push it out all the way now. We got a little bit longer boat this time. Okay, came right out guys. So that will be the whole procedure guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Let's grow the channel together. Be part of it guys. And see you next time.